Hi there, my name is Morris Ricard from Bricks and Plates and today I'm going to record this video to answer a few quick questions regarding Job Board X and Job's Webflow templates. So it is very likely that if you buy one of these templates, the Job Board X or the Job template, you may be wondering how the posting of Job features works. So I'm recording this quick video to explain the different options that you can use. Depending on the complexity and the feature you are looking for, you can use one version or the other and we will explain the different perks and benefits of each of those. Okay, so let's get started with the Webflow only option. Okay, so I'm going to explain how the Webflow only works on both options. I will show this in the Job Board X template, however, the same applies to the Jobs template. So when a new user uh, wants to go ahead and post a template, they can just go ahead and go into post a, a job and you will see they arrive to this form. Then on this form, they like you're requesting all the information for the posting, like the full name, email address, all the job information, the company name, all of that. And they can just fill all of this information and via the Webflow forms, you're going to receive this on your email. Meaning like if you go into your Webflow dashboard as right now, you go into forms, you will see that you have the option to send uh, the form submissions to your email. So every time someone posts a job, you will receive that job posting and you will be able to go into your account like Gmail or Outlook or any custom email that you are using. And you can take all of that data and then go into the Webflow designer or the Webflow editor and add that in. So for example, in this case, I go into the Webflow designer and I can go into the, uh, into the CMS with a job post. I can click here and I can click new job post and fill all of this data based on the data I received via email. So in this case, the process of publishing a free job post is pretty simple. A user goes here, they fill the data, you receive that in your email, you load it into the CMS and a new job posting is live. So that's pretty simple. But what happens if someone posts a paid job post? If they post a paid job post, the option of using Webflow only that we created for you is that they can go into this paid job option or in the case of jobs, uh, if they click post a job here, uh, and then I scroll to the bottom, the option will be here as featured jobs. So it's pretty much the same thing. So if they go here, you will see that at the end, uh, you are being asked for your order ID. Your order ID is pretty much like your purchase order number that you receive when you purchase one of the credits. So in the case of job board, if you go, for example, into the, into the post a paid job here, you will see that you have options to buy like one credit, three credits or five credits. And in the case of jobs, uh, you have an option to, to purchase different kinds of, uh, of feature options. So like you can find, you can post the basic one, the standard and the premium. So when you go ahead and purchase one of these, uh, it, it can be like on a jobs template or on a job board, you will get that order ID. And it's just a matter for you uh, to go into the post a job into, into this option and then fill that in. So that way your users, like they go ahead, that they purchase their credit or their featured package, they post the ID here, they click submit for approval, and you are going to receive the email the same way. But the only difference is that you are going to receive the notification that this is a paid job because the, the name of this form is paid. So that way you will very quickly realize that you are getting a, like a paid job post. And then you, you can follow the same process. You get that information on your email, you go into your Webflow dashboard, you have the job post here, and then uh, just below, you can just go ahead and make it feature. So that way you like, it's a paid job post and like it's a little more unique. And that way you like users can go ahead and pay it, uh, publish paid job posts. So as you can see, it's actually pretty simple to post both free job posts and also paid job posts. And the only thing, thing that you need to realize is that users need to go ahead and pay for the credit and then go ahead and publish it here. But as long as they do that, you will receive all the new posts and you will be able to publish them manually uh, into the Webflow CMS. That being said, if you are looking for a little more automated option, meaning like you want all of the free and paid job posts to be published automatically, it is actually possible to do that and we will describe it in the next option. Okay, so let's go with option two, using Webflow plus other integrations. Right now, Webflow doesn't allow to use custom integrations in Webflow templates. This means that when we submit our Webflow template to the Webflow template marketplace, 
we're not allowed to use like any kind of custom integration such as Yotfirm, Integromat, Zapier, or anything else. And that's why this is not built in the template. However, from time to time, we receive requests uh, asking how to do this. And that's why we're recording this quick video to point you in the right direction. Okay, so point number one, how do you automate the process that so everyone posts a free job or a paid job and that automatically gets loaded into the Webflow CMS as a new job post without you doing manually that with the email and copy and pasting. Okay, so it's actually pretty simple to do so. So what you need to do and one of the options to do this uh, is using Yotform. So Yotform is a pretty popular and like kind of famous type of forms. And the nice thing about Yotform is that they allow payments in their forms using Stripe and also they allow to integrate with Integromat and with Webflow. So the process will be something like the following. Imagine this. So let's say that you go into your pages and you have like the post a job and you have free and paid, but this uh, is a Jotform form. So imagine like this is Jotform. So in Jotform, you are allowed to add like a payment right in there. So instead of like going ahead and buying a credit, you can just pay right in the form. So the nice thing about this is that you can embed a job for form. And then what you need to do is that you need to connect these job for forms. Like you need to create a connection on this job for form uh, with Zapier uh, or Integromat. So basically Zapier and Integromat are tools that allow you to connect many different uh, items in between. So for example, you can see Integromat uh, with Yotform, you can in integrate things uh, in between. In this case, for example, you can save a new Yotform form into a Google Sheets spreadsheet, and you can see it like just works very well. Uh, and you can do the same things for, for with many other integration integrations. So, what you need to do in here is create a Yotform form, and you can do the following. So, you you have a Yotform form, uh, and it can be both for the pre or paid. Then that form, when someone makes submission that goes into Integromat or Zapier, depending which one you prefer, we usually recommend Integromat, but Zapier is also great. And then all of that data can go into Webflow, into Webflow CMS. So like if you, you receive the, uh, the job from data in the form, it goes into Integromat or Zapier, and then it goes into the Webflow CMS. So that way it automatically copy and paste like all of that data into the Webflow CMS, but in a completely automated way. Also another option that a lot of people like is that you can use uh, like an intermediary service like Airtable or Google Sheets. So all of that data, it's also logged in uh, in there, just so you can have control of all the data and then it goes into the Webflow CMS. So this is another pretty common option to do this. Uh, that being said, unfortunately, we don't offer support on how to do these integrations as each of these can be pretty complicated and unique. For example, some people may like to use uh, Integromat and Yotform and Stripe, but some other people may like to use Braintree, which is another payment processor or many different combinations. So that's like that goes a little outside the Webflow features and functionalities. So we're not able to provide support of that as that can get pretty complicated. That being said, there's many, many great tutorials online on how to do this. And you can find them very easily just by searching like Yotform Webflow or Integromat Webflow. And you will find many great uh, tutorials just like this one uh, using form builders for job boards. And if you follow them, you should be able to do that super quickly. So as you can see, it is actually not super complicated to build a more automated job board. So every time like someone submits a free job or paid job, it gets automatically published. And you can just do that following these integrations with Yotform, Integromat, Zapier, Airtable, or any others in case you want to add uh, something else to the stack. Okay, and that was pretty much it. Hope it was very easy for you to understand how you can use the job board using Webflow only or how you can also use it using multiple integrations so you can compare the different perks and benefits and choose the one you like the most. Now, before finishing the video, I will answer some frequently asked questions that some users also ask us. So if you are looking to add dynamic filters to your board, it is actually perfectly possible to do that. 
Right now, our templates don't have dynamic filters because that requires custom integration and Webflow templates are not allowed to have custom integrations when published to the Webflow template marketplace. However, in this quick tutorial, we can explain you how you can integrate uh, dynamic filters into your job board. So for this, you need to use a tool called, a tool called JetBoost and it's a pretty popular tool that allows you to integrate custom filters. And you go to JetBoost.io, then you go here, you go into dynamic filtering, and then you go into the full demo, you will see that you have the option to add like dynamic filters to your, to your job board. So if you go into multi filters plus search, you will see that in this uh, CMS collection, they actually have filters and these can change in real time. As you can see, as I click on the filters, these just filter real time. And you can also just like write something in here and it will search in real time. So all of these filtering and search functionalities are done through JetBoost. And if you integrate JetBoost in your template, you will be able to do that too, in case what that's what you are looking for. And that is pretty much it. In case you want to integrate it, you can click on try JetBoost for free here. And you can follow any online tutorial on how to integrate it. There's many great ones if you search for JetBoost Webflow uh, here on YouTube. And you can just follow those tutorials and you will be surprised at how simple you can integrate JetBoost into your template. Another pretty popular question is if you can actually add a user login or dashboard to your job board Webflow template. So similar to the previous answer, this is not built in the template because these require custom integrations that are not available yet on Webflow. So right now, the only two ways to add like user dashboard functionality in Webflow is one, using the Webflow memberships uh, feature that will allow to do something like that. However, Webflow memberships is right now in private beta, so it's not possible to integrate it yet. However, at some point in the future, it will be released and we will incorporate it in the template. For the moment, the only other option is using uh, member stack. Member stack is like a custom integration to build logins and dashboards inside Webflow. And it allows you to add like a login portal like, like or login screen and then like gate certain part of the content just after they log in or they pay for a subscription. So this can be a little more complicated to integrate uh, than like Yotform or something like that, as these can be like a little more technical. However, uh, there's many great tutorials on how you can integrate member stack in case you are looking for a user login or dashboard in your Webflow template. And that is pretty much for the moment. We expect with this quick explanation, it is a little more clear for you what the template can and cannot do and what integrations you can use to expand its functionalities. Thank you very much for watching. This is Morrissey Card from Bricks Templates and have a great day.